I've been working hard to put together a workspace that works for me and allows me to do my best work without unnecessary clutter and disorganisation, so I thought I would share my progress with you and a few small things that have made a huge difference in making the most of this space. If you've been here before, you'll know that this is just a corner in my room that I've separated with two Billy bookcases from IKEA. This is where I spend my work days making art, editing videos and running my online shop. Starting with the bookcase, it's just two Billy bookcases in oak colour, I think, that I joined together and painted the insides of with regular wall paint. This is where I keep reference books and sketchbooks, some decorative pieces and a few extra art supplies. As well as being a room divider, it also acts as a nice backdrop for my YouTube videos. So starting at the very top, we have this old stereo that my mum gave to me. Moving further down are a few of my favourite books to use for reference and inspiration. I like having them in a vague colour order just to turn the books into a display of their own. Flanking those I have this tiny easel and a picture with a candle and a fake succulent and my gold spray painted mannequin. On the next shelf down is a nice little display of a wooden trinket box that my grandma gave me. Anytime she sees something with an elephant on she has to pick it up because she knows I love them. I've also got this heavy solid block of marble or faux marble and some sage in an abalone shell. Further down still are a couple of wooden boxes from car boot sales. These are both empty at the moment, but I like to use them sometimes to store excess paint tubes. And then I have my porcelain palette, which I'm currently using with my Daniel Smith watercolours. Down on the bottom shelf here are a few books that I find inspirational with really nice images or useful information in them. Now this side of the shelving unit is a little bit more sparse, I always like to leave myself some room to grow in a space, so this is a collection of my sketchbooks and notebooks. They're sorted out into order of how full they are, so these on the left are all full. They are separated by this DIY prompt jar where I just have a few drawing prompts ready whenever I need an extra push for ideas. And then as we go along that row we come to the books that are half full and currently in use. And then right on the end are the empty sketchbooks and notebooks that are just crying out to be filled with ideas. This shelf is purely decorative. I have a cluster of fake plants and candles, this nice geometric ball that I think I got from Sainsbury's, but I'll leave as much info for things as I can below. My essential oil diffuser and of course my YouTube play button. And then not so decorative, but certainly functional is my heavy duty paper guillotine. It was quite an investment, it takes up a lot of room, it's heavy and it's ugly, but it has made such a difference to streamlining my workflow, I wouldn't trade it for anything. In front of these shelves now are some IKEA drawers. These house some of my more boring work stuff, packaging supplies, computer stuff, video equipment. To tie them in with the shelves, I covered the drawer fronts with this wood effect contact paper. In terms of what's inside, in here I keep a small selection of the postal stuff I go for most often. So I've got A4 envelopes here, some smaller envelopes in there my weighing scale for calculating shipping weights, some plastic sleeves and some postal tubes. The drawer under that just holds my USB light box, a small paper trimmer and a cutting mat with a small collection of craft knife blades. And right at the bottom here I just have my two Huion drawing tablets with a box of wires and spare pens that go with them. Moving on to this side, this other side of the drawers is a bit more difficult to get to so I keep the things here that I reach for less. So up the top are the extra bits that go with orders, so I would normally have business and thank you cards. I've got some stickers here, uh, customs labels, packing tape, tissue paper. Right now I'm low on everything, so I'm using this space to keep some of my mini zines easy to access for any new orders. I also have a selection of paper samples from different printing companies to refer to whenever I'm looking to print my next project. Now, these two final drawers are really hard to get to. I actually have to unplug my TV aerial and a couple of plugs to open this one, so I don't use this stuff often at all. This is just some big umbrella lights that I use for filming videos and the light bulbs that go with them. And then right at the bottom here, the obligatory junk drawer. This is where I keep laptop cases, boxes, and of course, a tangled mess of wires and batteries and adapters. Moving on from that side of the room, this is my easel. It was a gift to me from my mum. She used it back when she was in college and strung over the top. I have an apron and some overalls ready for whenever I feel the urge to do some messy work. I also have this new plant, a birthday gift from a couple of good friends. And then we come around to this wall. 
This is still what I consider to be part of the office space rather than the art space. It's nice and compact, but it still allows me to get both office and artwork done. Along the top shelf, I have some of my favorite notebooks and books that I just find really visually pleasing to look at. My origami crane from Maison du Monde. Um, on the next shelf is a box of stickers and some excess stationery supplies. And next to that are a few jars to hold water when I'm painting. And then back here, this box holds my spare printer inks. I've got a candle, fake plant, paper clips, sharpener, and my Google smart speaker. As I was saying, I essentially have my desk split into two sections, my office section and my art section. So having this all in one desktop here in the middle means that there's no extra space taken up by a computer tower. It does cover up my printer, but I haven't used that at all since I got my thermal label printer. This is a Dymo label writer for XL. Another thing that has really changed the game for me and my efficiency in this workspace. This is the printer that I use for my art prints. I have a video on that. And underneath here is where I keep the paper for that printer. This box shelving unit is from IKEA and it serves as my table support as well as being a good lot of storage. As well as printer paper, I have a couple of oversized sketchbooks to the side here and one of these folders is kind of a catch-all for my scrap cutouts and art that I don't have a place for yet. This bottom shelf here is where I keep all my paperwork and documents and receipts and these two boxes hold the things that I occasionally need within reach at my desk. So some cleaning supplies, my bigger hard drive, headphones and a speaker. And down at the bottom a few lesser used art supplies that always might come in handy at some point. Up on top, again, my computer is a Lenovo Idea Center all-in-one 520, which is quite a mouthful. I was lucky enough to have this sent to me by Intel and it's been a real game changer in upgrading not just my workspace but my workflow as well. I will have a dedicated video on that coming up, so if you have any questions please leave them below. Moving onto the window ledge by the desk, I have a notebook to hand for jotting things down whenever I need to. Beside it is a desk tidy from Amazon, which holds anything I might need to hand, washi tape, go-to stationery and sticky notes. Underneath are my wireless keyboard and mouse. And under the desk again, we are transitioning to the art area. So the shelves on this side are all my less used art supplies. I'll have a full art supply storage video coming up soon. My chair is from Amazon and you might notice the weights I keep under my desk which I will occasionally pick up during breaks in work. And then over to the right are the drawers that I keep all my most used art supplies in. Beautifully organised and always to hand when I need them. And you'll see that that's been the whole point of this space, I've laid it out in a way that works best for me, that complements how my brain needs things to be to function. Everything I need is where I need it, when I need it. And that wraps up the overview of my workspace. It will continue to change as my needs change, but for now it flows just beautifully and it allows me to get the most out of my work days. Stay tuned to see how I have organized my art supplies to do the same, how my computer ties into all that, and let me know if you'd also like a video with my cleaning and tidying tips. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.